Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be covering what is network as a service, desktop as a service, storage as a service, and database as a service, data as a service, and also I'll explain what is security as a service and identity as a service. Guys, I have uploaded complete cloud computing subject tutorials. I will provide that link in description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Guys, many people and small companies are using basic cloud services like IaaS, PaaS, and SaaS. Because of these three services, cloud computing is very important in IT world. And so many people are also using network, storage, and databases. So cloud providers are providing these services separately. These are some of the new cloud services. And the first one is NaaS, where NaaS stands for Network as a Service. Network as a service allows users to access virtual network services like virtual private networks and bandwidth on demand. Instead of buying expensive network hardware, companies can now use these services on a pay-as-you-go basis. Normally, if you want to establish private network in your software company, you need to purchase expensive network hardware like routers, switches, firewalls, wires, etc., which is very costly. But cloud provides you virtual network services where you can create virtual private networks online and you can also select the bandwidth of that network that is nothing but you can also select the speed of that network and how much time you use that network only for that you need to pay money next service provided by cloud is desktop as a service shortly we call it as DAS. desktop as a service provides virtual desktops that user can access from anywhere the service providers manage storage backup security and updates while user manages their own application and settings. Guys, desktop is nothing but computer. Instead of purchasing computer, in cloud, you can rent a computer online. Just you need to open cloud like AWS, and then you need to choose desktop as a service, and then you can use virtual computer. This virtual computer works same like real computer. You can store files, you can access softwares, etc. Providing security and providing updates are managed by cloud service providers like AWS. From anywhere, by using any device, you can open cloud and then you can use virtual desktop. Third one is storage as a service. Shortly, we call it as HTAS. Guys, in cloud, by selecting storage as a service, you can store data online. Guys, if you store your data in cloud, if there is any damage to your computer, simply you can restore your data. By using any device, from anywhere, simply you can restore your data. By using storage as a service, Users can store and access their data in the cloud. It is useful for backup and disaster recovery because the data can be accessed anytime from anywhere. And fourth service offered by cloud is database as a service. Shortly, we call it as DBAS. Guys, in cloud, by selecting database as a service, we can create and use databases. Just in cloud, just you need to install and use the database. Just everything is handled by cloud service providers. And how much time you use the database? Only for that we need to pay money. And fifth service is data as a service. Shortly we call it as DAS. Guys, for example, let us say I have one small software company. In my company, we are doing project related to animals. So what my company need to do is my company need to collect complete information and images related to animals. But collecting data, images, and videos related to animals is very tough. So in cloud, I will simply select the data as a service. And simply I can collect a complete data, videos, pictures related to animals. Cloud service providers will give me complete data, which will save my time. So by selecting data as a service, cloud service providers will provide me complete data related to my work. And sixth one is security as a service. Shortly we call it as SCCAAS. Guys, if you are using normal physical computer or computer in cloud, cloud provides you various kinds of security services like antivirus, intrusion detection, event management, and etc. You can use these services not only in cloud system, but also you can use these services in normal system. And seventh one is identity as a service. Shortly, we call it as IDAS. Guys, without doing any setup in your company, you can verify passwords of users in cloud by selecting identity as a service. In cloud, identity as a service helps companies manage user identities and authentication without needing their own infrastructure. All these are various latest services offered by cloud. As cloud grows, more services are created 
in order to meet user requirements. In future, cloud will provide everything as a service. Shortly, we call it as XAAS. In future, you might see more services like backup as a service, communication as a service, and many more.